Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will learn how to add a table in Excel using an Office script in Power Automate Cloudflow. So please watch this video till then so that you can understand it completely. And if you have not subscribed my YouTube channel yet, please subscribe it. So let's get started. Here you can see that we have this file. And in this file, if you notice that there is no table created, right? But in Power Automate, if you want to read the data from the Excel, you need to have this data in table format. And how do you create a table? You can just select all the data and then you can go to insert and then here you can create the table, right? But when you are running the cloud flow, you will not have this option to create a table, right? With that, what we need to do is we need to write a script to create a table. So first of all, what I will do is I will go to automate and here what I will do is I will just click on record actions, right? So it will start recording the script. Now I will click on insert, then I will say table and here I can specify the range, right? So it is saying A1 to G1, right? So this is G1, correct? And I can say that my table has headers. I can click on OK. And then I will go to table design. Here I will name this table as table data. After this, I will click on stop. Now you can see the script has been created. I can just click on this three dot and then go to advanced edit. I will click on OK. Here you can see that we have this code, right? So first of all, it is saying workbook dot get active worksheet, which means we have to work on this sheet. And then here we are adding the table, right? Instead of specifying this hard coded range, what I can do is I can say that selected sheet dot used range which is get used range. Correct. So no matter how many rows we have in the sheet, all of it will be in the table format, right? And then here we have this new table dot set name, which is table data. So now what we need to do is we need to check whether this table is already there in the sheet, right? So before creating this table, which is table data, we need to check whether we already have this table there. Otherwise, it will generate an error. Now here, first of all, I will find out the existing tables. For that, I will create a variable existing table equals to selected sheet dot get tables dot sum tbl equals to tbl dot get name and then I will specify the name of the table which is table data and then semicolon right after this I will use this if existing table not is equals to true then I will add the table right now I will run the script now here you can see that a table with table data has been added right now let's say I will run the script again and here you can see that your script has been executed successfully without generating any error. Now I will rename this script and name it as add table, right? And I will just close this. And now I will go back to Power Automate Cloudflow. Now what I will do is I will just click on new step and then I will look for Excel actions. And from here, I will choose 
burn script and then here I will choose one drive one drive again here I will choose the file this is your file and here I'll specify the script which I want to execute in this file after that I will click on save and then I will run the bot I will click on test manually test and continue the script has been executed successfully I will check the file and here you can see that a table has been added in this data now if you want to read the data what you can do is you can use list rows action right so in this way what will happen is you will always know that you will be able to create a table in the file consider that you are getting a file from some location where table is already not created or maybe it has a table which is not in the name which you have specified here right so you can use this script to create the table in that excel data and then you can use this list rows present in table now here you are getting this table which is table data but first time when you will run the script you will not get this table name in the drop down in that case you can specify the custom value which is table data right and here you can click on show advanced options and here you can apply the filter right I will just click on test save and test and run the flow you can see your flow has been executed successfully so this is how you can create a table in the excel using office script in power automate cloud flow if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day